All right, so today I'm uh, just going to run out and do a bid on a little thing. Uh, normally I don't do bids. I like to just go out and get started on stuff. But uh, a friend of a friend, and they want to know what something's going to cost ahead of time. And just before leaving, I, I want to double check my batteries because I'm kind of changing over to DeWalt for a lot of stuff. And I checked these and noticed they were down. I also did a uh, demonstration yesterday with this nail gun. And now these, you got to remember, some of their tools, even though it, it takes a 20 volt system, if you use the lower capacity 20 volt batteries, they're not going to run some of the, the, the This battery won't really run this tool. Even one of the big capacity batteries won't run it very well when it's uh, not fully charged. So when we start looking at how you got to manage your batteries, if you, if you use lithium ion batteries, you realize that the, both the battery and the charger is microprocessor controlled. If you use high capacity lithium ion batteries and use a bunch of them, uh, I, I can usually get through a day of work without even having to charge any of them up. Okay, this isn't like the old days where you know you had to carry two batteries and a charger around and you're hot swapping them all the time. That these things you charge them, I, I charge them a couple times a week. That's it. So uh, I ended up figuring out last yesterday that a lot of these things are dangerously low, and I had to charge them today. So I got the last one getting topped off here. And that's just something for everybody's got to know when you are using any kind of a high capacity lithium ion battery system is, you, you know, there's a time when you got to check all your batteries, top them all off, use downtime in between jobs to do that. And, uh, and then of course, I organize a, a toolbox. Sometimes I, I leave a battery with the tools. Other times I, I, I organize it just when I'm getting ready for the next set of work. And uh, and that's one of those things where when you're using the lithium ion stuff, it's not as necessary to have multiple chargers when you do that. But it also depends on what the profile of your work is too. Uh, next, though, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Dewalt. Is trying to is in the development phases for a multipolar battery charger. I want to go over some things that I think it should include and why nobody makes a perfect system yet. Uh, we'll, we'll discuss that in part two of this video.